What's up, douchebags? Oh, come on, oh, man. man. That hurts my feelings, <laughs> dude. Got him. He's already on fire, baby. Yeah. Got him. Speaking of douchebags, um, what was the name of this movie? That's a, that's a good name for this We have podcast. to wait for Chris. Oh, Chris Speaking is coming on, too? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so y'all met Mike? Pod, Mike? Yeah, this yeah. is my friend yeah. Mike. We just, we just hopped on. Uh, yeah, dude. How long you known Ryan? Um, how long, Ryan? About 15, too, 20 minutes. Too long. Oh, nice. Since you met in the men's room. Well, he's my he's my ex stepson. Um, actually, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, I used to date his mom nice. for a while, and then we got married. But it was only lasted about three months. And if I'm totally honest, the main reason we broke up is because of Ryan. You're never supposed to tell a kid that he's the reason yeah. why you got a divorce, but yeah. but we were we were better friends than they were in a relationship. Yeah. So it was like, oh, wait, you you started fucking Brian? Is that what's going on? No, 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 no. no that no that happened later. Yeah, that, that was later. yeah, that was post. No, this was just like straight up. bro. This was like it was a real it was a real bromance. Not I unlike, gave him an ultimatum. Not I unlike, said it's either my mom or me. It was a bromance, <laughs> not unlike Martin and Jack. <laughs> from the hit film i love referring to them by name <laughs> a hero All right, we got we got time till chris dies. gets here those are my favorite japanese names they're martin and jack uh, those japanese. um they were chinese chinese all right i'm gonna um, put my plants Adam's sundays are my sunday today. for my for my plants <laughs> so i gotta put them on the, <laughs> yeah. guys, I, I have to apologize i'm having a really country. shitty hair day today that looks great dude I feel like is that an know, apple? We don't, do, oh. uh, we don't do video anyways. It's just a half eaten apple. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be a full eaten apple soon. Don't eat on Mike. Now are y'all are y'all in Nebraska? No, I'm in LA. You're in LA. I live in uh Laguna Beach. But we uh, lived in LA. We moved from LA last year when my wife was pregnant. Oh, right on. So. Did y'all, do y'all know Ryan from uh, L.A.? or from? Mm-hmm. So I met Adam. Um, I took his room. In, uh, yeah, when we moved. I don't, I don't know if you ever out. saw it. I never the, saw the, it. When I lived in Silver Lake, Adam, you, Adam and his now wife and dumbass kid used to... Uh, well, the kid didn't live there, but they used to live in it and they were moving out. So that's why I moved in with uh, so Barbara. The, the kid was living in Adam's wife's tummy yeah the ultimate apartment. not yet that's true yeah no we got pregnant we like we had to move the hold on let's up. see if we can hear chris all right yo can you hear me oh, yeah. yeah 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 by the oh, way are you wearing a cardigan know. yeah dude it's fucking sick. all right let me get mine <laughs> yeah man how annoying is it when people say we got pregnant i fucking can't stand that did i do that you, yeah you did that you said it twice i was like oh, oh i said we hold on did i say we got pregnant though yeah yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sound I don't like even know that it's coming out of my Technically, head. Adam did get pregnant. Oh, I believe yeah. that. Uh, when Mike, I got I that I ass Mike. pregnant. What's up, Mike? I'm Chris. <laughs> hey, what's <laughs> up, Mike? Well, I'm, Chris, I'm gonna put it Chris, on. Mike, good to meet Chris, you. Chris, yeah, this, this is my friend Mike. Cool, and, cool, cool. And former stepdad. Former ex, ex-stepdad. So he's ex-stepdad. Yeah. Uh, okay. No longer. Ex-step. No longer. All right, that sounds pretty wild. No I longer like... legally required to do anything. <laughs> All right, very cool, man. Very but we're cool. good friends. We keep in touch. Yeah, we like I still hang out. We still. I always ask him about his mom, how she's doing. <laughs> right. Right. On. He does the firecracker. Yeah, how she, how she? How she? I always ask how she's looking these days. Not good, man. <laughs> Not yes. great. Yeah, she's pretty old, I guess. Hey, oh man. God, no, she's young. She's um, only a few yeah. years older than me. Yeah. <laughs> not, well, did, but she's not looking about? good. What do you mean? When did she have you? A few years after me. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you're making a you're bit, it's got to right make now sense, or dude. If I make it, sense. sorry, I, sorry, I was making a bit right then. Yeah. <laughs> the timelines, the, the timelines, a little bit Roll off, it. but. Is it like a time travel kind of paradox? No, she was just born real fertile. 
Yeah. No, she. Um, <laughs> and, and, and she hey, had sex like, when she was like six as well. Well, and, and hey, I, no, I, no. I came into the picture way after that. Again, I'm not Ryan's yeah. dad. I'm Ryan's ex. ex you, gotta, you gotta clarify yeah, after something after a yeah, yeah. like that. But that's a <laughs> big group, Mike. That's not a. I want to be special. Just, yeah. Well, Mike is fire. actually yeah. Mike is two two of the six ex stepdads yeah because oh, i got in i got in and got you know i was back, in there yeah. we had the breakup we got together and then the second time that is really kind of ryan's fault uh we broke up but that was, <laughs> that's what i say it was oh, a weird like, honestly oh, yeah. honestly it was a very weird very um uh i know mike tried to bring it into uh context earlier but it was a very it's very similar to jack and martin's relationship when he first started banging my uh mom just a lot, a lot of, of broken hand, wine glasses a lot of handguns <laughs> yeah yeah i mean a lot of ping to epic movies what was the name I, of honestly, movie? And I, and I've, I've told this i've told ryan this a lot i i found his uh his mother uh very sexually aggressive <laughs> mm-hmm. and, she is and yeah she, like you didn't you were fighting it but you I, well, I buddy was, Adam, was, I was fighting it, and I was her damn son. Yeah. Oh, it was what's... difficult. It was just difficult for me to keep up. You know, it's horny, dude. I'm 65 year old man. It's difficult for me to get. And through. that's why I had to make the ultimatum. I was like, you, like, you're either with my mom, or you and I can still be homies and hang out. What's well, funny about that is that I found Adam's mom to be a frigid bitch. Oh, oh she's a cunt, dude. <laughs> oh. Hey man, uh, don't bring people's mom. Don't like well, make up I'm shit. Not, about all right, moms. Mike. Is Mike, that what we're doing on this podcast? Mike, to, uh, hold on. We got a we got a guess. Ryan's Mike thing is Weeby. true, but get real. Fucking, uh, hold on. We got a guess, up. Mike. I mean, Mike, honestly, I gotta tell you, Adam's Adam's mom is a huge frigid bitch and cunt. Well, uh, let me say this, uh, Adam. I have a type, and if she's single, I mean, I don't know. Let's just see if she's we're not the single. same. <laughs> okay. Well. Come on, you could be your dad. stepdad too. Is, is there any kind? Too. Is there any chance of a, a poly kind of thing happening? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could check. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rank your mom, madam? <laughs> Fuck you, William. Wow, dude, I'd wow. rank my mom a five. She's a beautiful mom. She's she, you know, she's older, but you know, she's inside and out, be gorgeous. I'm gonna play your game. See how easy that game. Was, Adam? How hot do you think your mom is? Just rate her. All right, on a scale from a one ten. to five, how mom's big is your mom's areola? Hell, he said a ten. He wants to fuck his mom. It's fucking. Crazy. No, I didn't say that. I just said she's a beautiful, Let's guess beautiful mom, woman in the world. Mom's areola uh, diameter. Right. Look, I this shit's about, about Ryan. Mom. It's not about fucking me, dude. Just quit trying to like change Ryan it so it's about me. All. It's not about. It's not about fucking you. It's about fucking your mom, bro. <laughs> and she's right, let's start this. Don't. Let's get this thing. Oh, before we start, I wanted to. Um, say rest in peace to one of the great, the screen legends of the past twenty years, Winter the Dolphin from Dolphin Tale. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, R.I.P. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, what Dolphin. From- Dolphins, Dolphins are rapists. Died. That's all I know. Yeah, the rapist Winter the Dolphin has passed. <laughs> well, uh, okay. The dolphin has no tail, right? Yeah, the dolphin Bingo. has no tail. He kind of was, like he mom. was actually, and he, and listen, he was me. <laughs> Let's yes. be honest. The thing is, Adam's mom is busty, but she's not. She doesn't have a nice dumper, you know, as they say. Oh, what are you talking I about? Like your she's mom. got your a mom dump truck, truck well. dude. Willie, your mom's got a dumpy back there. Yeah. Well, yeah, my mom like when I see your mom, gorgeous. William, I'm like, I get that little moment of stress where it's like, oh shit, I forgot it was trash day. Because I see that dump truck coming down the street. <laughs> beep, beep. Hey, come on, that's not funny. Let's not talk about each other's moms like that. No, only stuff that's. Oh, alive. I'll get my mom. I'll True get my mom on this podcast. Let me call yeah. my mom. It's true that your mom is a, a sweet thumper, dude. Well, yeah, dolphins. I know dolphins <laughs> are real rapey, and it was, uh, I, you know, winter got me too a couple of years ago, and it's it's yeah. nice that. Uh, nice so we can just celebrate him for his the you gotta separate the art from the artist is what i say yes yes i like his yeah. films i just don't like wait are you yeah, saying the dolphin, is, is the dolphin no. dolphin oh. tale is based on in the movie yeah it's playing itself it's actually yeah. a, a, a woman <laughs> a woman dolphin. yeah oh boy <laughs> and mike i thought i think you meant to say Sorry, uh, mike. you got you gotta separate the I like that <laughs> 
fist from that. <laughs> I can't do a dolphin noise, but imagine if I could. That'd be funny if I was you could. That would have been. Funny. Yeah, you know, land. imagine though. It didn't land, but, but it like, would be. If you, if you, if you could, I can see myself chuckling. Willie, Willie, do a dolphin impression. I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. I mean, oh. that sounds like, that sounds like flipper for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we, and also rapists always say that. So that's yeah. the dolphin tail. They're not telling me. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's the that real pool. dolphin tail. <laughs> they're just in that pool swimming around, you know, taunting. horny as hell. Yeah. Things happen. Well, I mean, wouldn't you be horny as hell if you were a dolphin that didn't have hands to masturbate? Well, and Here's the thing. Okay. Speaking of no pool, hands, you would just all you'd want to do is fuck. Yeah, you can't. Right? Jack off. Like no wonder dolphins are rapey. Yeah. You, you've captured them without that's letting why them they get off. Do the flips out of the water because they're trying they're to like, like suck their own dick. No, man. I mean that was basic, that was basically uh, that was <laughs> yeah. basically me in quarantine. Yeah, you're, sucking, you're doing flips, sucking. Your dick. <laughs> Bro, I was doing Ryan, that's Ryan. amazing. Yeah, I mean, I started with learning how to make bread. <laughs> and then, and then you got into that. Your- <laughs> that ends with learning, learning how to suck your own dick for sure. <laughs> By month three of them, it goes the bread, <laughs> bread, self fellatio, and then flips. Well, you, know. you make that bread and it's all nice and warm, and you're like, oh, that American mm-hmm. Pie movie. Maybe, maybe they mm-hmm. had some ideas, and that movie was really fucking good. And then next thing you know, you're fucking some bread, and then you're like, well, how could I get this even, even better? <laughs> Speaking of movies, I'll suck my own. <laughs> <laughs> William, about, speaking of movies, speaking of movies, uh, yeah, uh, a hero oh, never yeah, dies. That's what this podcast is about. We're here to talk about a hero never dies. Movies, movies, movies. It's a kind of an ironic title. Yeah, well, just I think an incorrect title because yeah, but- <laughs> there are no heroes in it, and everybody dies. Mm. Yes. Oh, literally, except the bar. Doesn't that make sense then? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like a poetic final moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, a hero not, they weren't never heroes. dies. No, no hero dies. In the Spoiler alert for world. this movie. What's that the definition, what's the, what's the <laughs> definition of it. a hero? Wow. Oh, my God. My Adam's my, mom, my uh, stepfather. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would I put myself a, in there. Mom, yeah. The fact that Adam's mom <laughs> didn't my, murder her own son <laughs> is. Uh, you would call yourself a hero. Like definitely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, I would say somebody, swirl. somebody who uh, marries uh, a lady and has to take care of her shitty, shitty kid, and <laughs> somehow <laughs> figures out a way to bond with that shitty kid and mm-hmm. make him to where he like I you know if some if, if somebody were to say teach a kid how to. How to not drool on his shoes all the time and how to yeah. wear pants in public and to not get food all over himself sp- over yeah. over 40% of the time. You're specifically talking about our relationship. No, no this is just hypothetical. <laughs> I'm saying what is a hero? What is a hero? Mean? I'm just, I'm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hey, I mean, the world is short on heroes. All right. So, William, I do have. Yeah. A question yeah. about this more, stepdad, <laughs> more stepdads, more, more stepdads, less heroes. No, there's what's your question? Ryan? Oh, same. it's the same. Yeah. The question is give me the synopsis. Did you see me, Adam? <laughs> give me the synopsis of this movie. So, this is a movie about, and what's the plot? What's the point? Two gangsters, Jack and Martin, they're in rival gangs. And they're not the leaders of their gangs. They're not the bosses of their gangs, but they're like the biggest killers in the gangs, the biggest enforcers. And they basically have this like this hatred of each other, but it's also like they're in love with each other. And the first half hour of the movie is just them battling one another. And eventually they're betrayed by their bosses and abandoned. And their bosses make up but they just leave them behind and then they're left to fend for themselves. A stepdad would never do that. I mean, a good one. No, would. look at what a, 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 a real stepdad. That guy is who, you know, anybody well, can be. I mean, no, I'd say, I I'd say, say an ex stepdad. Anybody can be a stepdad. What about a stepfather? Anybody can be a stepfather, but 
no you know, stepdad. Some but I would say oh, that, 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 that an, an ex, oh, that makes no sense. <laughs> an ex <laughs> stepdad that still conti- that still maintains contact and still is constantly loaning money because his stepson forgets to pay uh, most of his bills or gas all of bill. his bills yeah. and a gas bill. And I would say that is a, that is a hero. That's definitely uh what did you, you say? Know. Hero hey, he's just guy. describing his himself again. Like I would say this, I would say this, not all heroes wear capes, just like Spider-Man and Iron Man. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Other yeah, heroes, yeah. It's true. Yeah, it would be cool if in this movie the guys wore capes, so then we would know they were heroes. <laughs> well, yeah, be cool if well, you were one of them wears a hat a cape. and a mustache. Yeah. Funny, <laughs> funny that's, mustache. That's a cape. That's a form of a cape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a good enough mustache for sure. Um, yeah, when the first this... the first half of this movie was. Nuts. Weird as I, fuck. Well, it was tight, but it was like it was like because I, I love friendship, and it was like a yeah. rivalry mixed with friendship, mixed with gang violence. It was they they were frenemies. Frenemies. Yeah, yeah. Martin, frenemies Martin and Jake. yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. What was up with the uh, with the peeing all? Sink? But I was gonna say, oh, yeah, yeah. but that shit was so cool. That opening, the first time you see him walk, walk out to those palm trees and piss. Also, William, who filmed this? Did they do other things? Who is the di- of course. director? The director is Johnny Toe. Who's that? He's a, yeah, he's you a Hong Kong this. director who's directed like 68 movies. He's um Okay, so this was Hong Kong like centric like movie, right? Like, yeah, this is b- like, big yeah. a- this these guys became big after John Woo and Jackie Chan uh, and Chow Yun Fat left Hong Kong. Then okay. they became Mm. They feel the big, show. but they're they're pretty ni- they're pretty niche. Like not a lot of people have seen these movies. Not a lot of people know these actors. They're not like household names. Johnny yeah. Toe is he is right. he in any way related to Jeffrey Fingers? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's cousins. move on. They're cousins. Um, the no, I am <laughs> his, his American brother Jeffrey Fingers. <laughs> Johnny Fingers. But when did this come out? This was 98. 98. Is, so this is, is after that, the Hong Kong handover. Yeah, I will say 9/11. I will say like um my I my experience with like Hong Kong films was in the in the I don't know, mid 90s. I I got hip to like this is before Rumble in the Bronx and stuff came out over here, but I got hip to like all this Jackie Chan stuff. And I sort of knew who Jackie Chan was through just like Cannibal Run and stuff. Oh, There's he's a couple the greatest, things that, dude. That, tr- that trickled in over mm. here. And, uh, but then I started, you know, there's this one video store that I'd have to drive an hour to and they had all these Hong Kong bootlegs and it was all like the, the, the best, it was all like the Jackie Chan stuff and like some Jet Li Once Upon a Time in China. Like Super Cop and all of those Super ones? Cop, yeah, yeah. All the, all the, just the, the ones where he almost dies in and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, but- and then, you know, there's a little bit of like the kind of learned who Stamo and Yun Biao was. And then kind of from there, like, yeah, that John Woo stuff before John Woo was like really making stuff over here. And I was, I mean, I was, I was, I, I got everything I watched. Breaking up. And oh, you're breaking up, dude. Watch. Oh, oh damn, shit, the Chinese mafia watched. is listening. The Chinese uh, mafia. Yeah, no, I, I was, <laughs> we missed all that. of that. We the missed triads. all of what That's you were watching. Oh, okay. You watched triad stuff. Well, no, I was just watching, uh, yeah, like the the Once Upon a Time in China's and all the, even like the Cynthia Rothrocks and the, just the uh, whole. Nice. Which is the best that, Cynthia Rothrock movie? I've never oh, seen one. Oh, uh, I, th- I honestly, I don't think any of them are good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> not like, Isn't there one where she like puts, hooks a guy, like takes, d- jams a hook in a guy's eye in like a factory or something like Ooh. that, or like lifts him up by the eye after doing Hooks a hook guy's eye? Remember. Yeah. Well, it was that weird thing of like, you know, it's clear she's good at this stuff, but Jackie Chan was always like doing flips and almost dying. One of the like, best. She was never yeah. like almost dying and stuff. Yeah, I mean, Bruce, and- Bruce Lee is clearly better, but. Um, guys, not, don't. I mean, Sam Hung is better. Well, yeah. William, yeah, that's William's. Uh, William likes to have his outrageous take of Sam Hung being better than Jackie Chan. S- Samuel Hung, the guy from um, uh, America, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's William Hung. <laughs> William picking Hung. on him, yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, oh, I was cool. so into all that stuff, and then uh, right, so and I think it kind of blew up to where everybody like was getting well, in. You never seen any of this stuff, no, the Matrix. 
Well, the definitely the main. The I remember one, when Jackie Chan Romeo did, must um, die. The one's good. Jackie Romeo Chan did uh, Rumble in the Bronx, which was that Hong Kong movie that they released over here. I actually snuck, the, and it was like not many people like knew about him. I snuck. He was doing like a weird little press junket that came to uh, Planet Hollywood Whoa. in Dallas, Texas at the time. Oh, and me man. and my bro, me and my my bro, me, awesome. me and my friend, me and my friend, we we dressed up like what we thought reporters would dress like. Like I'm like 19 <laughs> or something, <laughs> and we go down. You say what Jackie Chan would dress like? Well, I mean, he would wear <laughs> a, 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 a cute jumpsuit yeah um but i had like a camera bag and we like got in and we like acted like we were pressed and we said we were from the made-up paper and they let us in and we got like meet jackie chan and like that's awesome <laughs> oh i have uh oh here actually i have it right here uh this is uh i got this autograph <laughs> oh, get ready to rumble it was at planet hollywood that the junket was that's perfect Signed, it's real but nice they had that's like real. um they had one of those like wooden man dummies with the sticks that come out and like, cool. I, like I, it, it turned me into like, like an eight year old. Cause he was like, uh, they have this, you know, I mean, in Jackie Chan broken English, he was like, they have this, uh, stick man here, but you, you guys don't want to see me do that. And I was like, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we and spent no, no, this is no, 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 flying dude. it in, flying my custom stick. Yeah, fighting well, I think he thought dummy. you were a reporter. <laughs> uh, so he well, was it wasn't just, it wasn't just me. Dummy. It was like, like all like the local reporters. Oh, okay, but nobody okay, really, okay. he wasn't like a big <laughs> celebrity and Dallas is like a huge, Incredible. there's papers and mini suburbs and stuff so it was like probably but it was still only like 25 people in the room and this is pre-rush hour i'm like sweating this is pre very pre-rush hour and um it was uh yeah it was a it was a highlight but then you know a couple years later later, the perfect time to drive yeah it was actually there was pre-rush hour yeah it was like okay yeah we got Got noon time there's not a lot of traffic yeah, yeah, new yeah, time. yeah, we understood the reference. That was good. So, oh, that was real good. <laughs> then a couple years was later, like, uh, post- more than derail the story. Just say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, this was at least it, even if it was rush hour, there was like the HOV lane with the you know carpool lane kind of situation, right? Where, where you the parkour lane you'll get to <laughs> if you're dressed as a reporter, you, <laughs> you get, get to use get to do it. Yeah. But I will say after that, the uh, the 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 I started there was like a floodgate that got released after like the Matrix. And it was just like every title that had been sitting around got over here, as opposed to like kind of just the best ones were trickling over here. And mm. I started to realize like, oh, man, a lot of these suck. <laughs> They're not all good. And they well, always have that weird like half hour like melancholy section in them. A lot like of the them, melodrama stuff. Yeah. the yeah. Real, yeah. So that's something we talked about. Mike, Mike and I watch this together. Yeah. And uh the score in this movie was so um <laughs> it was, it the, was like over dramatic soap opera. Yeah. 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 When they I, were peeing, when they were in that scene with the wine, that wine scene was weird, right? Like Yeah, I was well, like what the fuck I, is going on? I thought on? they were going to have sex. I, I I wasn't sure what was going to happen. And then those it, chicks it, came it. in and I was like, oh, is this going to be just a straight up orgy? What's what the fuck is yeah. going to happen? I brought the wine. Ready for the oh, orgy. Right. So I feel like yeah. there's a, a scene early on where you should they bring, always up, bring wine to the orgy, you know, and they're rivals. So they're not supposed to like hang out. So what they do is they go to this bar and they're drinking wine and they're like, my wine's better than your wine. And whenever they try to take a sip of each other's wine, they throw a coin across the room and shatter the wine glass. And I feel like this was like a take on that that heat scene where Al Pacino and Robert De Niro like get late night dinner one night and they just like talk, even though that like they're supposed to like hate each other. And it's just like, like never seen with, like, they, like pong tricks or something. Like that's what it felt like. It felt like well, I was watching a YouTube video. Oh, well, we like, got fucking yeah, like, yeah, trick shots. What, I think, does dude, stuff. perfect shit. I think you're yeah, describing also, it. Exactly. But and before that, though, when they arrive at the restaurant, they literally drive head on into oh, yes. no that, reaction. That by far was my favorite part because I'm expecting them to slam on the brakes and then they just barely touch and like get out all cool. No. They fucking just run right into each other. I like, ba- was- and then they back, they do it until their cars can't turn on. Yeah. Can't turn around anymore. They, they 
definitely w- would have injured themselves. They were going way too fast. They like refused yeah, to react That wasn't a, a metaphor for uh, docking. I don't know. Yeah, what that's was. what I was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. All these descriptions are very accurate, but we I think we're we're leaving out the intense homoeroticism it's of so that whole section. So erotic. We said Ryan and I literally said out loud, not to like make each other laugh, just like. Oh, they're going to fuck, right? Yeah, they're going to have they're, they're going to fuck, right? Okay, now they're going to fuck. They're going to fuck in just a little bit. And by the they end of the movie, did. they'll be yeah. fucking. Yeah. yeah. Okay, How his legs you? are gone. Easier access. They're going to fuck. <laughs> they're just two guys having a drink at a bar together. Easier I don't know access, I think they're going to have sex. Okay. Wait, what? Can we talk about that guy's legs or should we t- say no, that? Can we yet. talk about that guy's legs? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, what did you, let's talk about the coin scene and the wine scene. Yeah. That, that was, like, was awesome and like 17 minutes too long <laughs> it was so long it, kept it was going. so long i could not i i started i was just like what's out. going on dude are you this like, was two movies this whole thing was like two movies yeah it and felt one of, like and two different one movies. of them was one scene i don't know how to verbalize it or articulate it but the first like that scene was like one night one moment where they're just well there's like one glasses. game for and the then the rest of the, of the movie, movie is them like completely different people the first half of the movie is the game of them just constantly yeah fucking with well, each other but not killing each well, other they're, they're, they're like, like everybody they're like, around everybody but they're living good they're like they're in the triads things are going well they have babes like so why don't you describe the characters so we got jack he's like he's got a cool necklace and he walks yeah. around like no, he, he's he like walks a, like a like a like a like a texas guy right or is that no, Martin? That's, that's Martin. Martin. Shit. Fuck. Hold on. I think the cats just knocked something over. I'll be right back. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do they what, I mean? What look, this be? is the difference between two of them. Okay. Jack is kind of like more handsome, uh, dresses nicer. Martin it has a mustache and has a cowboy hat, and his girlfriend is like trashier. That's like the uh, difference. I kind of I mean, really, yeah, was she trashier yeah. or was she like I think he's right. Was, really? It's like they're a nicer couple. Yeah. Jack is yeah, a, and yeah, his yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. Well, the, like, Jack's couple. girlfriend is more is beautiful. That's it's like more clean. that's like her. I thought they were both pretty hot. I'll be honest with you. I thought they were both pretty hot too. But I, I like like if I was gonna compare it, I'd be like like uh, Martin's girl was like a scene girl, like kind of like a punk. Like she had her hair cut. Yeah, yeah. Like in that her yeah. hair was cut kind of weird at the beginning. Yeah. I thought that was yeah. just like a style. A little bit choice. of dye job in there. Yeah, but I could see what Very you of mean. Of its time. She's a little older though. No, she's not. They're both, she? I felt I felt like Martin was like older style, than Jack. Her, their style seemed yes. older. I felt well, like had Martin, cow- Martin had a yeah, cowboy but, hat. He's definitely older. <laughs> but how can, how can we yeah, make a true. judgment on that just because not only was it 1998, okay. which some Are of you getting political, bro? But I know I'm just saying though, but like, how can we truly make a judgment just because I, I, they're fashion I'm making a judgment. In, in, I mean, we always can, <laughs> but like, like, you know how you give mustaches pass- weren't popular in the 90s, but you know how you give passes right. to some to some pop culture things that pop up and you're like, oh, that's kind of okay, weird. Chris, and this then is you what find is out, happening oh, in the movie, though. They're European, like capri pants. If you saw a dude wearing capri pants, you would have an opinion on that. But then you find out the European and you're oh. like, uh, OK, all okay. right. And it's not <laughs> as weird, right? I want like, that's not gay, he's European. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Maybe, uh, maybe they, book. maybe they do things a little differently uh, yeah. over across the pond. Maybe no. you guys don't get it. Sorry, maybe I'm just too judgy about capri pants. Sorry. No, I mean, I, I, <laughs> well, it's like Adam's mom. You know, her dentures are always getting in the way, but that's just Florida, baby. No, yeah, you gotta no take st- them out. No lies about moms on this app. Only no, her teeth. Truths. Her teeth yeah. never get in the way with me, Willie. <laughs> Is your open? Small? As a root, very. I got a tiny boys. dick, and and she can unlock. She can unhinge that jaw. You know, Ryan's mom had very a great, right. great, great teeth. Great set of chumps. Oh my god, uh, yeah, Boy, pearly whites. <laughs> These suckers were so yeah. clean. I know. I don't all know where calm. my teeth came from. I don't know where my teeth I, came they from. Because... Pearly white from all the cum. What happened to Ryan's dad? We never <laughs> talked about that. Hey, yeah, what did I don't? I mean, this was years <laughs> after he was out of the picture. <laughs> what did? <laughs> We never, she was very, she didn't talk about a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and, she I didn't, quiet. and also I didn't, I didn't listen to her when she did talk. So, oh my God, she talks and talks and talks and talks. Yeah. You just got to, you got to turn it off. There you go. <sighs> my dad was the Unabomber, Adam. 
Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Why are you telling to only me? <laughs> you asked, right? Uh, I asked. <laughs> is what oh. I asked. <laughs> Did you ever visit what? him? Where do you live? I Oklahoma? Felt, Adam, I felt like you would relate. <laughs> okay. I do as a, Unabomber, as a Unabomber type. Don't tell Adam anything, yeah. okay? Just because I never leave like the house. That. He doesn't want to be told stuff. I don't want to be told falsehoods. Only truths. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> what do you guys think of that sniper but, scene at the beginning of the movie? Oh, uh, that it was weird. I was uh, like, why was well, the dot so big? Why was the laser pointing so It was huge. Huge. It was huge. <laughs> the circumference I was like, is that, that a sniper <laughs> or is something else about to happen? What's it's really big. Well, it's, it's one of my favorite like, things in the movie happened right beforehand was when the uh, guy got hit and then fell out the somehow at, in his mm, death opened the yes. car door and then yes. slammed up against the uh, guardrail and it yeah. just popped his head off just like I, that. I had to rewind. I I go, wait a minute. Did his head get cut off? And oh, it shot off. And make yeah. sure, shot whatever the fuck. The guy's head cut <laughs> came off somehow. I was like, oh, man. I didn't see no, that coming No, the biggest thing all. is, how did he open the door? The way they open these doors, these car doors, it's there's Japan, like three bro. scenes. They open different. There's three scenes where people just kick car doors open. Nobody un- uses the and handle. That's how you open a car door. And it's, it's not a- Japan. It's Hong Kong. Sorry. I'm being did you see any scenes where, did you see it's a hong kong movie filmed in thailand in thailand did you see any in guns okay. get reloaded in the movie oh no no, no but they kept picking up new ones there's no time and how many times did these people get shot and just shrug it off oh yeah, like, that that was, yeah that was the dude. <laughs> they hardly really? even looked at it they'd get shot and be like, yeah, be like and then they'd be like all right back to it i really it like the parts fantastic. where they where like an entire gang of triads is just shooting up like a room, like everything <laughs> yeah, in a room. They yes, <laughs> they piss off Martin by shooting up his entire office. Yeah, except the wine it happens a few times. I feel like oh, well, you know, Ryan and I noticed that it the lighting uh, compared to a lot of like the film quality and the lighting compared to a lot of the older Hong Kong like John Woo stuff was like pretty good. Like it, I thought like, it was. Shot I thought there was very a, well. Yeah, there was a, yeah. a lot of amazing like scenes. There was a, the lighting a, is amazing in the movie. There's a, the lighting scene. was it film? Yeah yeah, 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 it's all it's all yeah, it's film. It's got to be film. Dude, there's a scene in the beginning, uh the first car scene where it's like dark and then light and then dark. Like whoever the director of photography was on that fucking killed it, man. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed the the visuals of it. It was crazy. <laughs> and and then, thinking oh, go ahead. I was just going to say thinking about like 98, like back to the lighting like so there was a lot of like Tarantino style overhead lightings, lighting stuff in room where it's dark and there's just one mm-hmm. big light shining down. Well, that's, um, and then there was a couple feet shots too. There's several feet yeah, shots. There was a couple feet shots. The lighting through the window thing, that's all <laughs> from Blade Runner. That's all oh, the blinds. Everybody's just like taking a Blade spotlight Runner. and you just take a spotlight and you just like blast it through a window as it yeah. passes. And it's like, it's supposed to mimic helicopter lights. Yeah. But it just became cool and hip. And so they just started doing it and everything. So there's like scenes in this movie where they're outside that like hotel in the middle of the movie, or, and there's just lights coming from every which direction. The lights are moving. It's, it's like there's so much, but it never looks bad. It never looks right. shitty, yeah. which is like amazing. Mm. Um, I really like that scene because. They're hiding out in that hotel, and then like they see more of those red laser dots. Yeah, I didn't. He that turns was... off the he turns out the lights, and then he's able to like shoot the ceiling. See and, him? Like, and then like every time he shoots the ceiling, like a body falls. Through yeah, the roof. yeah, yeah. That's what, what Mike said. It's like, why would the body immediately fall through? I don't know. Maybe yeah. my maybe response like is rigor mortis. Through. Immediate rigor mortis. Once no, you're no, no. once you're dead weight. <laughs> okay. Well, let me, okay. So let me challenge this. First of all, the, the light had to go through something, right? And, and so there was they, no hole. Right. So maybe it was like a thatched roof where he, they could move it. So that would make sense because they could kind of like move the shit apart, put the shit in there. And then when they got shot, the, the thatchness couldn't hold the weight of the body. Maybe I've overthought this, but it makes sense in my mind. It, it, awesome. a nice hotel. I'll, say, I'll say that. It it's wasn't... a shitty hotel, right? Yeah, it, was, like it looked shitty. cool. Are you kidding? It looked cool as shit. 
I thought it was more of a bread and breakfast. Kind of cool. No, dude. A bread and did you bread say bread and breakfast? And breakfast? Bread and I, might breakfast. Have. I don't know, dude. I, I thought it was like a trouble, place you so. show up and you get bread and breakfast. And then you <laughs> fuck the bread and then you learn to do flips to suck your own dick, bro. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no, well, first bread, then. What about head and breakfast? Suck your dick. I'm sorry to take us back to Hey, hold on, hold on. What about head and breakfast in it? Every morning, Adam's mom oh, sucks your dick. <laughs> you almost had a good business idea. Every morning? <laughs> almost. A lot yeah, of that's work. the way you want to wake up. That is the ideal way to wake up to a blowjob. Like, She's got to have a day off. A waking blowjob? I'm just saying in general. From <laughs> that's any, your, when you call yeah. the front desk, you're like, yeah, yeah I'd like Adam's mom to uh, <laughs> wake me up uh, via fellatio at like I mean, 10. If, when's if, the checkout look if you're ever gonna then let's do 9 45 wake up blow job day, call. that's the way i imagine every dude's perfect day would start that's the way my perfect day would start i don't know is that the way you i don't know i don't know <laughs> you're talking about my mom specifically <laughs> i'm just talking about in general i don't adam, I'm that, sure that's the perfect day for adam throat with luscious lips but uh if, that's but, gross man and Adam's always got to stay at this hotel because he gets like Staff free rooms because gross. his mom is <laughs> his mom Wait, is blowing everybody. Staff I just joined in, like, bro. I just Staff joined this motherfucker, in. shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, found my mom. Oh, they've been talking about your mom the whole time. Yeah, what? I literally just Come did a whole other Shark Tank. About <laughs> uh, I got to Okay, I gotta, so Mike, stuff, Mike, guys. we got to let you know. Adam's mom gives head to. Pretty much anybody that asks. I, I'm excited about that. That's this. what the joke is. You're a guest. Sorry. Is there like a, sorry, it comes up every episode. It's like a thing she does. Is there like a, it says like a gift bag. It's like kind of the, one of the, the oh, swag bag. No. Swag bag from yeah, the, pod, for anybody, the podcast. Any guest on the show, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mike, yeah. don't do this. You don't wake, have, hey, don't Mike, have to do tomorrow, uh -huh. set, your, set your alarm. <laughs> If Head you didn't do I mean, this, you it would really and you take talk, a stand. Well, you have breakfast and you talk to all the other people like she blew. You're like, yeah, so uh, that's what <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're not eating breakfast on like a well, tray sitting no, on your you're stomach eating breakfast. while you're getting head from Adam's mom? No, no, no. It's like a din there's like a breakfast table. So you're like, every, all the, the other guys people come staying downstairs. At the, at the head and breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> No, right, that would did you not go, be cool. What time did you wake up? They're all like curious, like, what time did you wake up? Yeah, fifteen. Thirty. <laughs> no, nobody can wake up at the same time because it's only Adam's mom. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to wake yeah, up. She's last, the only one that works there. <laughs> no way. It's fifteen rooms. There's fifteen rooms at this head and breakfast. No, is she <laughs> swallowing? Like, is she? Is she? Adam, just shut the fuck up. Of protein. Of course. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, sadness. it depends how much you tip. It depends okay. if you got the king. Did you get the suite? Did you get the kid? It depends what room you're in. I'm Shut not asking, I'm just blowing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just, <sighs> I'm just blasting. Well, everything that you're they talking about is happening to William little plastic, and Ryan's uh, mom. little plastic right. things you put on your Don't, door. Adam, on your keep hotel it classy. Door that's, yeah, Adam, yeah, keep like, classy. I'm, like, like about the do not you can put one on. Yeah, it says, like, do not come in. I'm drained. Do not go down. I'm drained. I'm empty. It's got like a cute a cartoon it's got like a cute and like a really dehydrated ca cartoon. Guy yeah. on it. It's <laughs> got these shriveled oh, up little like balls man. or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's funny. Yeah. Adam, I bet your mom gets bomb ass head, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm going to kill you. And your dad, is your dad a happy guy? How's his general demeanor? Oh, he skips. I bet he skips to breakfast. He's got, some, he's got bad knees. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, so, so he's, he's the, the one. one. <laughs> yeah, he's the one. Oh, is he the one? Stathis. Stathis. <laughs> I swear well, to God. Sometimes Stathis. the mom. Oh, come well, on, sometimes dude. at the head and breakfast, you, you know, the mom is tired, so the dad. It's a family-owned business. It's a family-owned <laughs> business. Sometimes the family's got to step in. <laughs> Adam would visit every summer. <laughs> An old couple that owns a head and breakfast in Vermont. Adam would yeah. visit every summer for a week and have to step in. Do you have any sisters or brothers? Parents. Is it a, like an, an aristocrats type situation? No, Adam oh, yes. was just the only. Yes. He's got siblings. He was just the only one willing to go give head to a bunch of strangers. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Gotta go fucking work for my parents for the summer. It's super oh, annoying. He's stretching That's... his neck right now. As <laughs> 
That's why he's uh, got. Don't like, I don't know why I made I'm myself. Doing, I'm crying right now. I got a <laughs> tear yeah, in my face. Yeah, that's over the yeah. line. That that <laughs> crosses boundaries of good taste. You don't need to describe what that's Adam's outrageous. Doing. Well, I'm just cracking my neck. Okay. Well, I'm. <laughs> While we're talking about you, you giving head, this, I know. He's, it's like you're like you you're triggered to something. The bit. Yeah. He's literally wearing a get jawbreaker to work. shirt, guys. <laughs> it's like Pavlovian. A hey, jawbreaker. He's yeah. wearing Wake a jawbreaker up, boy. shirt. It's about like, that. Because he fucking loves. I would just be throwing pennies at Adam as much as he can in his mouth. Oh, this might be the most derailed episode. Dude, it'd be so much I fun to take a nap a at that head my head. Ryan told me that you guys are trying to stay more on. on. <laughs> I was yeah, like, we yeah. gotta <laughs> stay for more on. <laughs> we had a long conversation. It's hard with five time. people, you know. It's tough. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. hard when you bring up head and breakfast, and then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> head and breakfast. <laughs> I, honestly, I would like to in, invest in this. I think it's a, I think it's a million dollar it's a idea. Fucking good idea. Huh? Adam's right. mom just greets you at the. She also, she, Adam's mom also works reception, and she just got so many cold sores around. <laughs> oh, <her. gross. laughs> not for me. Not for me. I didn't do that. No, you walk away with cold. I'm sores. saying I don't give. I'm clean. Yeah, yeah. By the way, how dirty you were said those that glasses too, they were drinking out of? Those wine glasses were a little Oh, too yeah. Dirty. That was clearly that, Kool-Aid, that, too. The lighting was so Very cool nice. that it made you really see all the blemishes on all the, the glasses they were drinking out of. I was like, that's a little bit gross. Just definitely. The red Kool-Aid. It's dusty in there. You know, you yeah, that was definitely guys. not wine. Yeah. Also, well, so I, I, I was going to ask a quick question. Does anybody know – This is back, I'm sorry to back it up in the movie, but like <laughs> – why yeah, why were they what was the deal with the fortune teller so they were all from hong kong and yeah. they went to good call they went to vietnam or to thailand i mean to go see a, a fortune teller who sucks they and needed advice you they needed advice yeah but every time they go so I, i'm guessing oh, this is so when the movie starts we're seeing this old gang like this has been going on for years right like we're seeing yeah. kind of the it's just a later late later later chapters of this these two gangs well, the, and uh just, they would go to him for advice but then it, the jack and martin Jake, shoot him see here's yeah, the but thing. they're the young nice. guys they're like the young bucks they don't give a fuck about that they got cool chains and cowboy hats the movie's just a collection of cool scenes okay it's not like a plot it's not like a real examination <laughs> of a real gang well it has a I think that the it um, has this like rhythmic storytelling thing going on where like well it's doing a thing where it's like it's like a shifting protagonist thing. Yeah, uh, and yeah. I think it's I think that's what the title. Oh, like, like always shifting like, and be like, oh, it's oh is that's that why the it's called that's shifting protagonist. Die? Yeah, uh, no, that makes sense because by the second half, I don't think that, that means it at all like because women. is that the, in the middle of the movie that? after the hotel they're both left for dead and then they seek vengeance i think that's what the title comes from oh i see yeah that makes more sense i guess but i like <laughs> the way i like the way adam put it though because at one point the women do take over right or at least the one woman takes over as like yeah the uh, no. the other dude just one, of, one of the women, burn burn victim women. Men. yeah they both and then that lives. burn victim woman gets mac and mead right off that cliff you kidding me oh yeah that would have been awesome if they cut to the mac and I was, I, it's a it's a shame they did not show <laughs> how he decided to yeah. murder his hot girlfriend yeah of course i'm not gonna lie i think i zoned out at that part because i, I had done so much reading time. that's the hard thing with subtitles that you have to read yeah. these were and, quick these subtitles were quick and they were Dude, a little but, too quick i was like yeah, oh no were what, quick, what? quick yeah yeah which i would never seen subtitles that fast. Sometimes, and they were inaccurate <laughs> too. There were I hardly parts seen where, them this fast this time. There's a few quick. parts where it says like shouldn't, it should say should. That's Why? Not. How do you know? Because I can tell yeah, how many times it the the movie. There were there oh. were a couple there were a couple things you could oh, tell. You tell. <laughs> I've also seen the movie like before. You speak Chinese. <laughs> No, but um, you can tell that that wouldn't be the proper response to the, the thing they would say. I get it. I understand that. If it was like, he's like, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm not going to fuck Adam's mom. And then it cuts to a shot of him fucking Adam's mom. It's like, right. oh, wait. Yeah. That was mistranslated. That, yeah, that should have been, I'm definitely going to fucking go balls deep. I mean, your mom. <laughs> sure. Hey, come on. Uh, don't bring her why did you? Why did you stretch after you said? He's uncomfortable. 
He's trying to show. I'll his describe what again. I'm doing. He's like, wait, he's like he a bear to trying to make himself thing. look bigger, or like a squirrel <laughs> or something. It was a weird. What? It was a weird turn in that movie when you know it was a movie about badasses that can flick coins and break things, and now, and now a woman has to whore herself out for yeah. prescription meds. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. Probably penicillin, and yeah, it got, yeah, it got sad got, real quick. It did so, get sad. What do you guys think of this turning point in the movie? How to how to go down? I, I um, didn't, I, I didn't understand. Like, I understand the dude being so fucking depressed and whatnot, but like, because one guy Martin loses his legs, right? The dude who moves his le- loses legs. I understand the depression. I understand all that stuff, but I didn't understand how non-responsive he was to every single yeah. fucking so moment. i think like, i think I, was like, I, I thought about this but i think he was because we mike and i talked about yeah. this like why why was he so catatonic after that and it was like yeah obviously ptsd from i get losing that. your legs and depression or whatever from that but i think he was mostly upset think that like hurt? i think he thought his friend was dead like his like everything was done he had nothing to live for all he lived for was this rivalry with this this homoerotic relationship yeah with jack and How maybe she, think- he was doped up and now he has like no meds. and he's definitely uh, got to be like doped, doped up, up. Uh, yeah it just seemed like he was so catatonic at every like i understand the thing at the bed i understand him pissing himself i understand all that shit but i didn't understand when she like took him to see other yeah. people okay like, i didn't would- understand why she put him in fucking leather pants and he goes, I piss my pants, and it's like full on leather <laughs> pants. It's like, oh. Isn't that, is that the smart move? Because the piss just stays contained in the leather, right? No, Wait, because the, you have to take come those. Through leather? Have you ever taken leather pants off after like with a no, little moisture? No, I have never. I have never, and I will <laughs> never ever in my life ever wear leather. Pants. Okay, pleather. Well, this is funny because last you week can, I was seeing Adam's mom, and she was wearing a beautiful <laughs> leather diaper. That was filled to the brim with hot piss, and I had to say, I, <laughs> gross, it man. It was a cool look. Where uh, was she wearing shit. the was diaper? Oh, um, I mean, this was over Zoom, honestly. <laughs> she's only um, fans, you know. I'm okay, a subscriber. Right. that's why. She, that's why she gives head all the time because she's always got a yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> that's the slogan on the that's on her the slogan. breakfast. When you walk that's in. a slogan for something. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> she did, that, that's her little she catchphrase. Her com- does like uh, info like commercials where she's like, "I always have a yeast infection. That's why <laughs> I'm so good at giving head because it's all I can do without feeling pain." Welcome to bed and welcome, welcome to head. Come on to yeah, Miss Bowers head and breakfast. Well, yeah, a That's leather diaper called. will do that. Miss Bowers head and breakfast. I it's can't guarantee it'll fact. still be morning when you get that head, but you'll what, get it. What is that? The is it alliteration or something? When it begin, it's two B's. Miss Just enjoy this riffing Ms. without connecting it to me or anyone in my family. No, Mrs. Bowers Everybody. head and breakfast. It's the Bowers and breakfast. They sound good. <laughs> oh, you uh, like the alliteration, breakfast. I see. Yeah, the alliteration. Well, the craziest yeah. thing is, Adam, she would always tell, she told, like, the motto of this head and breakfast was, this is what I did growing up with my children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I want to I wanna take my family values on the road. <laughs> On the road. No, she did not see that. <laughs> okay. She's okay, yeah, so there's a plaque on her ask. head and breakfast. This Let's is what back. I want to ask about the guys with no, no legs. There is no plaque. At one point, at one point, they, there's a shot of him at like cause because there's shots of him that they, they kind of like have the lower legs out of the out of the shot, or there's like something covering them. Then there's a shot where I couldn't tell whether or not. Like he was sitting on his legs, or how they shot it as an as the actor. Like we know, like in fucking what is it? Uh, oh, he Mars cut his Gump. legs off. No, like like I was like maybe they had an actor with no my, legs. No, that's as a double. What crossed my mind? Did they hire an actor with no legs, and then like that had mm. prosthetics? Yeah, and I was sure. like, I, probably not. That probably didn't really happen. Because how do you get to a career? I mean, generally. You can How do you have a career know. with no legs? Is that what yeah. you just asked? There's lots of legless man. people in central casting. That you could I just... think there was definitely some legless body doubles for a lot of stuff. Yeah. Probably easier but, but to get a job like without legs. Crane. 
when he's on the crane, it's him. You can see it's him, and it doesn't look yeah. necessarily like he's sitting on his legs. Maybe he was. Well, he they should have used a, a legs. legless yes. actor who had leg prosthetics at the beginning. <laughs> that would have been very shocking. And then you <laughs> can see the real thing and I'm stuff, and you're saying, just like, holy just shit, saying, what look, the fuck? Literally, the effect would be the exact convinced. same as what they did with the movie. <laughs> I was convinced. Well, it looked like he didn't I have legs. legs. I am shocked. <laughs> I am very shocked. That actor I had did. legs. Act I three, did. I was shocked. Well, they he didn't have didn't legs. Have a <laughs> I thought he had legs this whole time. Right? They didn't have a Forrest Gump budget, and we know that guy has legs. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what's his name? I mean, Chris, it name? looked fake as hell. I don't know what to tell you. What? I, I thought I'm saying it, it would be. Good. Good. It would look more real. You could. It you don't have to fake it if you hire somebody who's legless. It's a guy with no legs. A guy with tucking his legs. I mean, it's. It's not it that looked... impressive. It's okay. a bummer well, they didn't let him. Oh keep yeah, it just. His, his I was legs. impressed. I, maybe it's the. Oh, thing like sometimes. the doctors. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they should have let him keep his legs, and then he learns how to fight with his legs. Oh, that sounds like, cool. They yeah. Yeah. He's just like in a coma around. after they amputate him. He's like still knocked out, and he's in a coma, and they just put one leg each under his <laughs> arm, like stuffed animals. <laughs> he's gonna, he he's gonna want to see that when he wakes up. That how would be like you, horrifying. <laughs> how long there, do you think wake it up took holding your life? for whoever found the burned woman to find the dude that was unconscious in the dead in the thing? Like, how long yeah. do you think they discussed that it took them to like because they probably opened it up afterwards to look at the bodies and make sure they weren't burned or whatever? But then, could how long did it take for them to figure out that this guy was still alive and just in a coma? And not like honestly, that. I'd say probably pretty quick. There was an explosion in uh, a hospital. <laughs> Do you think they just took all the <laughs> yeah, missing patients? So, uh, uh, okay. and a I'm missing, gonna, and, and a missing uh, yeah, so I'm sure okay, they probably right. investigated that immediately. Right, guys, I'm ASAP. Like an idiot. The actor had legs, they could, they, <laughs> all right, I get the, it. I get the it. Cor right. The coroner's just getting the head from Adam's the mom missing. at the bed and <laughs> Or right. following the indiscriminate rules of uh, how pain and injury affect human beings. She burnt up, stood, got up, and, and just walked out while she was still on fire and carried him and then collapsed. What? Or, I that guess happening? she probably she goes, told them, I'm yeah. staying at the head and breakfast on 35. <laughs> Do they do they yes, do Ms. Bowers head and breakfast? Is there any will they do will they give head to burn victims? course it depends there. where the burn is that's what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah down there. <laughs> down, there. down there but I so mean, far somebody that would who has too. a lot of third degree burns waist down knees up mm -hmm. uh that's what you'd like to book well that's exclusively <laughs> where i have my third degree, <laughs> degree burn. yeah um no they'll they can do it a lot of people don't like to you mean they the whole yeah. the whole bowers family is it charged? Oh it, yeah, no. If you're at a head, if you're at a head and breakfast, the bower she's obligated. Do you charge more? And and uh, follow up. What if they're a veteran? Oh, she doesn't charge. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, they're they're veterans. This is just a get, perk. Like, veterans get head for free. Technically, that's how you pay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you pay. That's a. Uh, oh. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, guys. That's Adam, true. I bet your mom gets just fire dome, dude. <laughs> you already said that. <laughs> I said you it differently, said the though. Exact same thing, like 10, 15 minutes I'm ago. Gonna, I'm going to say it again in 10, but just I'm going to figure out different words. Yeah, you said bomb. It's not the same. Fire. Yeah. Bomb, bomb ass head. Bomb ass fire head. ass dome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember this started about Brian's mom and I turned it? Yeah, I know. Dude, <laughs> I do remember that. You fuck her. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's funnier yeah. this way because you get mad. Yeah, yeah my mom. Oh, my mom. I don't, mad. I don't care. Oh, my mom goes down. <laughs> yes, let me do. tell you. No, I don't care. care. That's why we've come been, on. That's why we haven't stopped talking about it. You don't lose <laughs> six stepdads by giving. <laughs> Here's the thing: every stepdad has <laughs> left yeah. because we yeah, become better be friends than they were in a relationship. So it's yeah. like bros before classic bros before hoes. Yeah. I'm only getting pissed because my thing is a lie. That's what I want to be clear. 
the thing when it's about my mom. That's not good. It's a lie then. <laughs> All of it about it. What are you talking about? Mm, if it was, okay. if it was, this. but if it was true, you'd be content with all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you guys you. keep. I'm saying just mad facts. about the lie. Yeah. Why are you guys continuing to say facts that are yes, true? Yes, we know have how a successful head and breakfast across the <laughs> upper Midwest. It, you know, it paid paid for this uh, Kia Soul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Watch it's me get 2002 it Kia Soul. I've cost. heard Kias have gotten a lot better. Ryan, what are you drinking like a bomb? Dude, I bet it's a twisted tea. I, I bet it's a twisted <laughs> tea. I put it in a bag this time. Why did you put it in a bag? <laughs> what are you trying so to do? Cool? Nobody, you're fucking in your house. You don't I was wait. I was waiting bag. to see how long. It's also not even oh, okay. like an individual tall boy bag. I got here. <laughs> no, it's this all a big ass up. bag. <laughs> Cru- a really crumpled grocery <laughs> bag. Full ass. Yeah. Twisted yeah, so tea. Talk about the twisted tea. Tea. You like twisted tea a lot. Yeah, you're huh? a big proponent of <laughs> I'm sorry, tea. I'm twisted. That's your man. drink right now? Is that your daytime drink? No, I had some vodka earlier and I, ha- I had a beer. <laughs> Got it. And then I did a shot of tequila. <laughs> okay, so it's oh, one of nice. your daytime drinks. Get so half, right now, man. yeah. Now I'm daytime just doing half drink. and half. I'm like a half and half thing. Yeah. Yeah. I dig it. Adam, what's your daytime drink? Mmm. Mommy's milk. <laughs> I was so hoping you'd say that. Well, she so feeds him like yeah, a baby I'm bird. I'm going to say that. So that. After, after, she, after her morning run, like her morning like errands, she then feeds Adam like a baby bird. Oh, she just coughs up the cum of all the dudes. Bathus, shut the fuck up. The exactly, Sabbath. That's exactly what I meant. Oh, he eats Lord. the stale cum from he's all the like he, that she's sucked the fuck up. Off. <laughs> he's by her side the whole time. And after she, uh, you know, she Mommy. blows the... I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell on you guys. I'm glad I. Uh, I'm glad I. I'm gonna tell on you guys to your mom. my friend Mike to be on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it though. I mean, there's a famous. Uh, there's a famous poem. It's uh, roses are red, satin is silky. Daddy is rough. Mommy is milky. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful poem. Yeah. Is that, That's Adam's family crest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay, so they don't ever fuck in this movie. <laughs> At all, yeah. period. Nobody no, has sex no. in this movie. Yes, they do. The fucking chick. Has oh yeah, she fu- sex only fucks. Oh yeah, to get, get penicillin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just kind of ironic, or like a full circle thing. Like you're just you're just raw dogging some doctor for penicillin. You're probably gonna need that penicillin yourself. Like wow. raw yeah. dogging. You're gonna keep raw dogging yeah. this doctor. Yeah, classic hey. blunder. Also, you yeah. think both of these guys as the m- most proficient assassins in the in the in all of hong kong would have would have made a little bankroll so they didn't have to completely i thought that was a cop adam jesus christ i had thought you sorry were sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry mike sure, they so didn't have any savings. are you for real right now no money. Yeah, yeah, like a, a adam's wife cap. adam's wife on the zoom just walked in on the background and i and she's wearing a ball cap and it looked like a fucking cop and i don't know why did you get sorry, scared? Mike? Sorry, You're not Mike. there. No, yeah, no, I just it would scared me. Too. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, scared? scared me too. I was afraid all this head and breakfast talk was gonna get us <laughs> I all. Say, that's that's kind of are we live? Is this live? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, are we not allowed to say that? Or you gotta shut arrested? this down. You gotta yeah. shut this. <laughs> are you gonna get arrested for making fun of Adam too? Hard? The, it's the FCC sorry, Mike, police. Sorry, sorry, dude. Maybe one day. Yeah, uh, what's they... that dolphin's name? Winter. 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 It's a great name. Yeah, yeah she really had, had no tail and you know. Yeah. Like a weird. It's like tail. your mom who has no ass. Who's <laughs> that's that's too far. That's she doesn't need it with that mouth. <laughs> this is how this all got started. Okay, ratings. Well, what? Mike was saying something. Sorry. I oh, totally sorry. I, don't, I, I don't I don't remember. I was thinking they didn't have about- any money. They're oh, they were badasses. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were like badasses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's glitched. Yeah. Any let, let's put any plot pull? holes you guys notice. Mm. Any little a lot. Yeah. Anything that didn't make any sense or was silly. Well, so we maybe y'all have some. I think this is what Mike was talking about. Like uh once they were kind of excommunicate, once they all shot themselves up and presumed dead or missing or whatever, 
they just like went on to live. One of them was legless homeless person. They're trapped in Thailand. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the other one was just like working an ice block job. We had to take care Did of they not have money. Burned. But they were like, they have no, they have no money. But before, why not? before they, they were like, friends. wait, they spent uh, it on and guns. Hold on a, wait, 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 wait. And wine glasses. Probably. I was wondering where the other, where Jack's girlfriend went after all that. Because I thought that you didn't know Martin's she was the burn victim. I thought Martin's girlfriend became the burn victim. Wow! No, I she was presumed you don't, dead. You presume Jack's scene? girlfriend is dead. Isn't there a weird okay. funeral scene? In, well, yeah, right all the so all the gang the members her? die. Wait, what happens to her though? What happens to Martin's girlfriend? She's murdered. She gets yeah. absolutely she gets shot. She gets she, shot. She, she gets she's dragging blood. him up to the banquet oh, and gotcha, going like, gotcha. yeah, yeah we're the two gang. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. It's I like the two, now. the two bosses, the two rival gang members are like having a celebratory party. After and, yeah. I can, I can, I mean, in, in bad guy logic, I can understand why they would like kick Martin to the curb and not help do anything because he's no, of no use to them. But like, Jack is like, because there's a before his girlfriend gets burned, he's in the hospital, but then he gets better true. and he's running yeah. ice blocks. Why wouldn't they just hire him back and go like, dude, yeah, you're you're good, awesome. Here's come back to work for us. We got more people. Yeah, to he kill. was like a well, they left him for dead. He was like too. a badass. They did so. Yeah, he didn't want to come back. Oh, I see. I see. And it was like an opportunity to go straight. I guess I'm just. To make yeah. a career in ice blocking. I mean, ice, so, ice, it was also ice pushing a, was his passion. Literal chance to go straight. He's like, fuck, my rival who I'm seeing. Well, he wants to take care of his girlfriend. With is also dead. This is I before she got they burned. They tried to murder him. Time to go straight. Yeah, we didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know that he was taking care of her once but we they tried him. to murder him she's in the hospital dead. and she's the one who saved him. Yeah, uh, by throwing him in the, what is those boxes called where they put corpses in the morgue? Coffin, coffin. No, they weren't it's not a coffin. They're like the little rollout metal filing cabinets oh, right, for yeah. human remains. Yeah. Is it a drawers. filing cabinet? It's a drawer. Cabinet? Yeah. It's a, just a big ass filing chest, cabinet. It's called a chest of drawers. That's what that name refers to. <laughs> I've always wanted to fuck in one of those. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Like a like Japanese businessman. A living person. Yeah, it was a like course. a yeah. You want to <laughs> fuck? Cool. Like you want to <laughs> fuck a body? I mean, how uh, hot is it? How hot is it? Like temperature? No, real like hot. Bod, it's like, like fresh. Oh, fresh. It's a fresh one. I want to fuck a living person for the record? No, no rigor wanna... mortis. There's, <laughs> it's just, it's it's fresh. You can flop it room around. Temperature. Yeah, I mean, you, why are you? Room fresh, temperature. Chris is coming saying. in like, but listen, been there, done that. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. You're gonna want to maybe about seven, eight hours post uh, mortem. I'm no more a, than giving that. Giving a healthy tip to many a mortician. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're going to want to put a little more uh, formaldehyde on this one. Yeah. Now that's the dead and dead and breakfast chain where <laughs> every morning your wake up call is getting fucked by a corpse. Oh, fucked by a corpse? Yeah, yeah. like weekend like somebody's, at Bernie's. Somebody's moving it. Now, like two people or two like bellhops are holding the corpse up. <laughs> They're yeah. like. I was also uh, really surprised. I didn't know that Martin had died. And yeah, so when, the, oh, they, when they were of, rolling him up in the wheelchair, I had no idea that he was he was dead. Damn. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. And also, an he was... I said end of an arrow when I saw that. Freshly shaven. <laughs> so that means homeboy, like, shaved him, cleaned him up, put him in a wheelchair, taped some guns to his hands, put his cowboy hat back on. <laughs> And then just wheeled his ass in there. Yeah. I mean, that's maybe when Jack got into some dead and breakfast type shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He filled Martin up. Finally fulfilled. <laughs> Finally fulfilled. <laughs> I don't like how you're rocking right now, Chris, when you say <laughs> Oh, I'm jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> Finally fulfilled him up. You move your body, <laughs> not your hands. <laughs> like an old like an old southern yeah, man, I'm like sitting on a porch. My hands still, my body's just fucking my hand so, right now. Smoking fantastic. a corn cob pipe. That what do you think of that final jerking off scene? on the porch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That cute. final shootout at that dope ass. I love um, it. What was the what was the club called? The NASA club club oh, NASA. Yeah. NASA. 
National Air and Space Association. Or something. Oh, is that <laughs> or National something? Air in space? That, did I get it? I just wasn't sure if I got. It. Why'd you say it so confidently, but not at the same time? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Na- <laughs> National Association of Space or I don't know, whatever. <laughs> air. Yeah, National and, National Air and, and Space uh, Association. They explore air and oh, NASA. Hold on, motherfucker. A- Let's see what it is. I bet it's uh, NASA. I swear. Adam's mom. National oh, Aeronautics and Space Administration. Oh. Two out of oh, air. four. No air, but kind of, the, you know, it's a pretty good guess, I feel like. Aeronautics. Yeah, Space aeronautics. Force. Space Force has a better ring to it. Yeah. It does. Space, Space Force. Force. Yeah. Can't wait. He knows, how to, he knows how to sell. He knows how yeah. to sell. I mean, head and you know, that's, a, that's a beautiful. Yeah, we should get Elon yeah, on. Nice. Can we get, should, can we call that's Elon and get him on? Forces. On Get the him podcast? on the cast, see what he, I don't know yeah, and see what he thinks about head Texas and is a pretty libertarian state. I mean, you guys should have that going on down there. You want me to go? That's I could true. go down to his house. He lives yeah. a few blocks away. He's mm. actually pretty, he's basically acting like Martin after he lost his legs. He's all depressed about Grimes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Moping around, pissing yeah. his pants. He is the richest person He's in the world. He's in his leather he pants. Should, uh, get over it. <laughs> did he break well, up with her? Did she break up with him? I thought he's married with a kid. What's going on? No, he's, he's not seven kids. He's got six kids, six or seven kids, but he had his latest one with Grimes. They were never Dude, married. I'm assuming yeah. it'd be cool. she left him. It'd be cool I don't if think after I've they heard broke up. Song. It'd be cool if after they broke up, Pete Davidson started dating Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be, if it, an SNL skits, that would be great. Yeah. It's so weird that Pete Davidson is now cool in, in, in like the, the, well, okay, you saw, him, you saw who he's dating now, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So who weird. is it? Adam's mom. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm staying at this bed and breakfast and yeah, uh, he had a tour. blowing me and I, no, uh, Pete Davidson up. is not dating my mom. And so I, uh, you know, decided to take her out to Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah, I don't get why I have very far. I have no idea why people why women love Pete Davidson other than that he's, he's got tall. a lot of money. Here's the thing, I don't understand. Oh, he's, he's attractive, like, he's, he's famous, famous and he's got a money. really nice guy, has a whole bunch of money. I mean, what else? Why, why? His, okay. dad, his dad died in 9-11. Like, come on. I just want to apologize to Adam for calling his mom a frigid bitch when she's clearly not. I mean, Pete Davidson would never tolerate a frigid woman. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, bro. Sometimes she can Both be cold. If you if you call the front desk and you true. say, "I want I want frigid Miss Bowers," <laughs> seven a.m. and they go, that. "Well, she's booked up until about ten thirty. She's got we got a lot of rooms and she's got to suck a lot of dicks." And I go, "All right, do uh, yeah, I'll do uh, lukewarm Bowers." Adam, did uh, your mom ever do the baby bird to you after Pete Davidson? <laughs> it's gross, man. <laughs> Well, that's not a yes that's or a no. Not an answer, yeah. You need to answer the question. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Stathis. What? <laughs> yes or no? I'm sick of this, Stathis. Hey, yes or no, Adam? Hey, man. No, none of this. People want to know. <laughs> all People want to know. People want to know if you ate. No, they don't. They think this is. They think this is rude. And, and no, not, oh, and that's what a taste. baby birding is. Okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah. You yeah. Look I it thought up? it was yeah, called yeah. snowballing. Oh, well, it's kind of a form of that. Maybe it's like they're feeding it to someone else. See, Adam, when it's from the mouth to mouth, this is after she's already there's a third party in her stomach, and this is where she coughs it up (laughs) out of her stomach. I see. see. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Yeah. she's got to like she's got to she's got to digest digest the semen in her own tummy. Partly digested semen that Adam is eating. Adam's got a Adam's got a semen intolerance. I'm gonna tell your guys mom about all this. Okay. Okay. She won't believe I'm telling it. on you. She that's won't how believe I'm, a thing. That's how I'm going to handle this. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm going to tell her that she was rat? featured on our best episode be ever. Rat? What's that? Did you say he's on our best you episode say, ever? Did you just say breast episode though? That'd be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. If you said that. <laughs> breast episode. It, yeah, I think he did say that. Not Flip as it. Cool as like. What the, so uh, what's the moral yeah. of the story? What did we learn from this movie, guys? <laughs> Don't be um, in the gang. Like, just be open, be out, be gay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, you don't have to join it, the triad. You don't have yeah. to, like, just Instead shoot be, the just rival. Kill That's people. What I don't toy with them. Shoot them. Kill them. Mm. If you have them in your laser sight, yeah. take the shot. 
Take the shot. Yeah. I like that. Take he had a shot. half a wit. He had half a Thailand in his laser sight. That sucker, that beam was huge. Also, bullets. yeah, take a second shot. Also, have a plan. Have a better plan. When he rolled yeah. up to the thing at the end, that what there was no. I mean, yeah, it's kind of funny. You you took your you weekend at Bernie's, to <laughs> fucking Martin, but like, there was no plan. You needed to do yeah. like he just walks in the middle of the room and, and just, just gets blasted. Hey, listen, have you never played Halo? That's not how that works. Just put a bomb in the in the place. Blow it up. Yeah. Sure, or move on. Before. Stay like. There's probably honestly. The moral I would say that I saw was like stay in the ice block business because mm-hmm. there, nothing good happened. Like his yeah. life was actually pretty good for like two scenes. He had a busted yeah. ass, burnt ass girl staying in his rafters. They'll never leave you. And he was just sliding ice box. across town. Hey, what was the also deal with all those put girls- the ice in a fucking truck? Why is he going six blocks with ice just on the dirty street? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah that's going what's in. You're right. Probably going to What's a that bar at South by Southwest. Maybe they're just putting it. Maybe they're not like putting it in cocktails. They're putting it Wait. like. Oh, it, they just need big ice. blocks of ice or something. Yeah. I have a question. Use ice for other things. Yeah, all those <laughs> That's right. all those Asian chicks that go into his room and find the burnt chick. What did they have like a crush on him or something? I think, I think I zoned in. Well, and zoned I think out he of... was famous. I think they're I think... both famous. Because oh. the other guy, the other These guy magazine was magazine covers and stuff. Oh, and yeah. did you see the oh, name? Yeah. What was the name right. of the magazine? The, the oh, it, it was like their something unusual, unusual, unusual Times? something, unusual weekly, unusual weekly. Yeah, what? That, it Why sounds are they like famous? they're because they're like famous gang people. Yeah. And yeah, then I, mean, I guess it's the, like he was on the cover, like, the, oh, how the mighty have fallen because he's like begging gotcha. on the street and he doesn't have legs like an idiot. And stars, he, uh, where are they now? Kind of situation. Yeah, I see, I see. You won't believe how fat Melissa Joan Hart's got. That's kind of, <laughs> yeah. If, if he, yeah, it feels fat? like when you open that, when you open that no, cover, she looks it's like Bat Boy <laughs> seen in Thailand. Oh, it's okay. like one of those one of okay. those kinds okay. of magazines. But yeah. like he could have definitely banged all those other girls, right? But he decided oh, to for sure. stay with the uh the woman that trick. was so dedicated to saving his life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, what still, would you guys do? She's a ride or die, bro. She's a ride <laughs> or die. Frederica Kruger. Um <laughs> the uh whoa. Oh, whoa. Burn, Mike. Come on. Uh, uh, hey, she's it, the, you know, burned. there's a lot yeah. of great uh <laughs> There's a lot of great, uh, you know, stunts and action, but God damn, that was some fucking spirit Halloween store makeup on the burn. Oh, victim. yes. Yeah, it wasn't. Yes. Great. It wasn't great. These are pretty low budget, would you say? I right? want to like, I want to see some pus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, his movies tend to You want to be able makeup. to fucking fuck that boil. Or, or I don't know. Does fuck it, it is. These are like is this the movie that he's most movies. famous for? <laughs> no, I'd say like, Oh, action's really popular. Why did you, know, you pick this movie, called? William? Because this movie's awesome. Mm. This is yeah, my favorite was movie cool. by him. Uh, by it was very slow at the like, beginning, but it was also very intriguing. The entire also, time. like, yeah, it's, a lot of it's fun. just it was fun. It's just such a like, indulgent, crazy, ridiculous movie. It's that's true, and it's and it's so confidently made. And so, like, he really doesn't give a fuck. I think in my I like my letterbox reviewed. So I say like. This movie doesn't give a fuck, but also it gives lots of fucks because everything is so um, specific. Like that coin mm. toss scene is amazing. Uh, I just didn't know what was going the way on. I would describe it, but it is very intentional. Like it's amazing. Every- like a Sam Raimi movie is amazing, or like is it's just like complicated. That, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. saying. Um, it. Is it something that? Is it so like culturally specific that is that why it's like so bizarre to us, but it's not like weird for like Hong Well, I think Hong. it's a parody of, of what a gangster movie. Mm. Of a gangster movie. Why are they bringing wine glasses or it's wine bottles over the top? It's it's funny. I, I see. I, okay, I think I see. But is that something they do in in uh, in in that culture? Is to like bring wine to bars where you can just buy the wine? Like I sure, understand, I, like I mean, to a know. restaurant. There'd be like an uncorking fee if you had a specific wine you wanted to bring and stuff like that. But like to a bar, that's kind of like, is that something we're just missing? Because that kind of throws me out. And I'm yeah, is there a corking fee? No, not I mean, that's my question. 
They're gang members. <laughs> it's so. a corking fee with your mom, that's for sure. Ooh. Watch your mouth, motherfucker. But it's free, free, free. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't need the pop side. <laughs> what? So I, but I do want to know: is this is, is Johnny Toe? Uh, is he is he mostly a like a crime like action guy? Yeah, yeah. his movies are. Um, all of his movies are melodramas. Yeah. With lots of twists and turns. And they're, I feel like here's what happened in Hong Kong is John Wu was already making movies that were so great, like that were so intense and so crazy that Johnny Cho had to do something different mm -hmm. with less money and less famous actors. Yeah. And so what he's doing is, He's making more like subversive, more twisted, kind of like Tarantino, kind of like more like yeah. a lot of Tarantino vibes. It, yeah, with it, this it, one, this came after Pulp Fiction. Yeah, so it's like it's more of a um, subversion of the genre. So it's not like they're not like real gangsters doing real crimes with like. I mean, they're with real plots that make any sense. You know, it's not like yeah. What There's is the a lot of murder doing in Thailand or whatever? Like, are they selling drugs? Are they yeah, they're exporting just like things? Men. Are they bootlegging yeah. things? Yeah, so what, like, there's no, there's none of that matters. The only thing that matters is the style and the um, the characters. And the other big influence on the on Johnny Toe, I believe, is Wong Kar Wai because he was making movies in Hong Kong like Chunking Express and The Mood for Love, Fallen Angels, like art house movies with these over the top gangster characters. And I feel like he's like taking a bit of that and um, what Tarantino was doing and what John Woo was doing. So it's like, but it's not as artsy as like Wong Kar Wai. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, just, and you said election is his other big one. So he's directed 68 movies. So, Based on it's like, not Reese Witherspoon election, not right? Reese Witherspoon. He okay. has all and like election is a very similar movie. It's about I watched it this weekend. It's about um, an election of of a triad gang. So in the triad, they're electing a new leader every two years, and then yeah, they elect these two leaders. One guy wins, one guy loses, and the guy that loses is like fuck that. I don't. I refuse to lose. And there's like a thing called a baton. <laughs> That's what the winner has. So then they start fighting over who gets the baton. And then a lot of his movies deal with Sounds like very two, familiar. Yeah. Like two guys um, who hate each other, but or also like act each other. Yeah. They never kill each other. Rivalry. Until. And do they fuck in that one? <laughs> no. I think it's illegal in China. How come nobody fucked in this one? Get, being yeah. gay is illegal in China? Oh, in China. But in Hong Kong, it probably wasn't. Well, here's the deal. Um, it's pretty you're much illegal be, gonna... worldwide. Well, it's no, definitely it's illegal in if the eyes of... If you're talking to God. Yeah, yeah, it's illegal in the eyes of God, for sure. There is yeah. one famous gay China. It's a no -no. Which God? Which God? The God, yeah. Uh, wh the wh God. Which one's that? <laughs> Yahweh. God. Who are you talking? What do you... You name Yah. one. Yeah. No. What are you? Which one are you talking about, though? I'm talking about God, bro. Allah. The Christian God. Allah? No, or no, no. The, 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 so listen, it's this, Allah, it's this guys. lady in the in the <laughs> mid Midwest. That's it's true. this lady at these head and breakfast. She, <laughs> bro, she, she is the best head. She dude, Adam's mom Adam's flirts mom. <laughs> the wildest dingus, dude. She flirts with it. It's like saying the same ramen, thing. dude. It's like we've already done order, this. <laughs> imagine, imagine ordering ramen noodles, oh, and you're, slur yeah. you're slurping up a noodle. You know how you slurp slurp up yeah. a noodle. That's the way. She imagine being, from. imagine being the noodle, yeah. and uh, <laughs> the person slurping don't, is Don't Adam's imagine mom, that dude. stuff. I'm she imagining just, it. Dude. Don't imagine being I, the I noodle. I can't stop. I can't stop. It's in my head. It's like, Fuck. and it's like it, polite. It's culturally, po you know, polite to slurp. It's just a, right. Yeah. So she's <laughs> noisy, dude. She is <laughs> noisy. <laughs> Telling on right. So what's everybody's rating for the movie? <laughs> the sounds, bro. The sounds are like if you were walked into a room that was just full of fresh mac and cheese, and every step you took oh, was yeah. Whack, 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 yeah. Whack, oh, yeah. 
That's how Adam's like mom gives that. Like a duck <laughs> choking on something. Yeah. Yep. Something. Yeah. Stop getting yeah. up about it. <laughs> Whatever's going on with you right now, just stop. That's how Adam's hard. mom gives it. Don't get hard. Don't get hard. Would you say get your mom soft. is a MILF, Adam? <laughs> No, a God, no. Oh. That's why At she just gives her head, bro. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm going to tell. Monster you Dome. Tell? But what Brian, you your mom's going to gonna get a phone call so from anything the, to anyone. Adam's They're going to look at you like, why would you even repeat that? Well, I'll tell Go them ahead. directly. I'm an adult. I'll tell them directly. <laughs> what, Adam? Please. Please you know, Adam, you, Adam, you've never got head from my mom? What rating would you give your mom, Adam? I already told you she's a 10 out of 10. She's a great mom. Okay, you want to fuck your mom? Gross. Oh, I love that one. Stan. Gross. You said it, it stands. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Go as back a mom. on your rating. <laughs> Adam shows up one year at the, the head and breakfast, and his mom's like, Adam, what are you doing here? He's like, I want a room. I'm a guest. <laughs> I've paid up front for six and She just days. blushes. She just turns red as a beat. She's so happy. No way. <laughs> That'd be a cool commercial. <laughs> for what? The head of, that's the head. That'd be like a Christmas. Oh, like a, make a no, Christmas. but I stayed at a Holiday like Inn. Hard company, that's like a, yeah, home for the holidays sort of thing. Car insurance. Like, <laughs> head for the holidays. Oh, Jesus Head Christ. for the holidays. All right, so yeah. what's everybody's rating for the movie out of five stars? <sighs> um, I'll give it a... Th- I'll, I'll go for it. Well, no, Mike, please. Yeah, go no, first. you go first. No, Adam you, goes no, first. No, 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 no. Adam go first. first because you always do. I just was going first because I, uh, there's point five. I would give it a, I think I would, I like the movie, but I, I think I got kind of bored at parts and stuff. And I think I'll give it a three. Yeah. Well, you don't pay attention to the movie. It's not going to make a lot I sense. lost my interest. It lost my, I don't interest. know who the characters are. I, I and I was like, confused. I feel by like stuff. Mike and I were paying attention and it still didn't. There was not a lot of love and respect to this movie but just not i'm not fully my vibes that's all i One would love. say that i i'd probably give it a a, a, a four or a 3.75 because because nice. i liked it it was super fun but there was a chunk when that when things get depressing that kind of felt a little too long when when <laughs> when the basis of the movie is people's heads getting popped up by car doors and stuff like that yeah i didn't like but, the melodrama uh, yeah, you know, but I, I loved it. I, that's and, why and I also, it. Otherwise, I, I don't think I would have had as much fun watching it without um, Ryan in the room. I think it definitely. I was gonna. I was gonna say it definitely made it more enjoyable to watch it with somebody. I feel like if yeah. I was watching it alone, I'd probably start playing my Switch, or I'd probably yeah. start because there was like a good thirty minute chunk. Ch- maybe the second act, yeah, or, like the beginning yeah. of the third act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're injured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna dovetail off that. I'm gonna give it a uh, wait. Did you give the rating, Ryan? Or did you just no. Oh it? no no no. What'd you do, Mike? You four point seventy five. I said I said like four or three point. I probably go. I probably there. go four and a half. I go yeah, four and a half because I liked it. Like when it was good, it was good. Yeah. Like yeah. when it was like kind of like Adam's mom. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No. Uh, I'm, no. Because I'm when it's when it's bad, it's fucking still yeah. good. Just, you know. Yeah. I mean? Yeah. I, it was fun. Dude, Even she, with tea? Here's the deal. Tea? Here's the deal. Sorry, I know we're doing ratings, but here's the deal. Fellas. Adam's mom. Oh yeah. Blobs a knob. <laughs> Like corn. so what? slippery. Funny. Dude, she, you were, Adam's mom thing. eats. Adam's mom eats a corn. Like well, don't forget, Ryan. Somebody eating a corn on Speaking the. Speaking of it but being bad, it, one time down, I was saying it and and sucking all the kernels and, um, off. It was. This Sorry. was embarrassing. She <laughs> wetted her leather off. diaper. You know. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that was bad, but it was still good. Because the she, yeast uh, infection. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. No, the head. <laughs> so I tuned out what you guys were saying, but oh, <laughs> so uh, wow. so I'm yourself, going. I'm telling. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yourself, I'm telling. For the listeners, Adam has blocked himself uh, visually from us. Maybe the first the him. first episode that Adam exactly. muted himself. In- <laughs> yeah, he's not muted. He's vis- he's visually muted. Uh, I I'm gonna give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a three because of the same reasons that Ryan mentioned, but also 
I this is gonna sound stupid because some movies I don't mind reading, but this movie just was hard to read and watch at the same time for whatever reason. I feel so, like the subtitles went faster than they were real quick. They went they real were bad quick. Subtitles. But I just, there is no legitimate release of this movie. I'm gonna good. give it a three. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm gonna give it a three. It was fine. If you're a movie <laughs> fan, watch it. If you're not a fan of movies, like if you're gonna watch it with somebody that doesn't really like to concentrate or whatever they're gonna zone the fuck out yeah i mean this is a, that's the thing cut. though you like it's when you deep, zone deep like cut. when you pay attention like there's some fucking beautiful shots yeah. Yeah. yeah and then the second half of the movie comes along and i uh, you start it's to still zone shot pretty out. beautifully yeah, like there's but, some but it's, it's like it's, i yeah. would say watch it with friends for sure and have like, some friends. it's a, it's a, a good time it's, it's a real watch. good time everybody like you know, like we we shouted a bunch of times, like "What is happening?" But in yeah. a very gleeful, Bro, we didn't what even is talk happening about the fat guy with the sandals. Sure. <laughs> oh, the fat guy with the, the fat sandals. henchman sure. before William. Before we get to your rating, you know who <laughs> we're talking, talking about? That fat that Samoan guy? looking guy that came into the hospital to kill him. <laughs> yes, yes. It, it just rolled up in sandals. <laughs> there, there's about three scenes. I think there's three or four scenes in the entire movie that involve like the. Well, villains these are some of the, and the here, the whatever, the gang members going up on. and down stairs. These are some of the most unhealthy looking gangsters I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> these guys are not. Their unit, their gang uniform is a white button up with a tie that is just so loose. Why <laughs> just why yeah, even put the tie yeah. on? They're, and they, they all the look first, very the disposable. Three buttons. Yes. Like these guys are just like. But they're not. Off no, the, the bus. first four. Jack's, Jack's four. They just stand there like people are shooting at them and they just stand there like Terminator, like like they're immortal. That shit was tight. Like their gang, their family unit, like how they responded together was pretty cool. Like he start he starts shooting the lights out. It's about brotherhood. That's the thing. It's about brotherhood. Okay. Okay. And they're and brothers fight. Brothers love each other. Brothers have brothers make love to each other. Brothers make love. Yeah. Now so they, I, shouldn't. they shouldn't. So this is the t-shirt. second time, <laughs> bro. It sounds, you time. sound lonely as hell, Chris. <laughs> I'm so lonely, guys. <laughs> bros, you gotta bros make love fuck. with your brother. If you ain't oh, fucking man. with your bros, hey, who's got a brother? Raise bros. your hand. If you got a brother, raise your hand. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mike, you did not. You raised your. Mike raised his hand so. Also, yeah, awesome. Like, let's I don't want to let's do more. Uh, uh, let's brother. do more visual cues <laughs> on yeah. this audio podcast. <laughs> Everybody raise um, their hand. Everybody raise their hand. <laughs> so, if you have a brother that you fuck, right, make a go. slight visual. Yeah, leave. Um, later, Adam. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> All right. Uh, nice to Adam, you, stay, come I on. Like I need to meet you. Have I Why do you got to go, Adam? I don't think so. No, you got to look comfortable. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, what part of fun. it looks familiar? What is it? It's face. Is it the flannel shirt? <laughs> Is it the, but did you stay at a head and breakfast, Mike? Yeah, did you ever? He's just saying it because you two are the only ones with uh, headset microphones. Oh, yeah, like, dude. Represent. I've got a headset microphone. Oh, yeah. Are you leaving? I stayed, at, you I stayed at, a, at a Airbnb, and the B&B stands for blowjobs and boners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate those. We hate those, man. They're like ruining the industry. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, see you guys later. Well, no, hold on, dad, Adam. Dad, Adam, it's be, like go dad, do dad shit. Oh, okay. yeah. That's how's your mom? Like, I don't mean to get, sudden, I don't, I don't mean to get uh, real, but how's your your mom's okay? I heard she got locked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm glad I didn't sign off before you said that. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, Adam. All right, it was later. cool. All, All right, cool. dudes. I guess I'm going too. Uh, good to meet you, Mike. And, hey, is that uh, it? See you guys is that the, the end? I guess. If- no, I haven't done my rating. Oh, yeah. Shit, We're right. still going, What's bro. Rating? Yeah, so my rating... So this is the second time I saw the movie. Now the podcast starts. Adam's gone. <laughs> I have to say, I found the second half a lot better the second time, knowing there was going to be a big finish. And yeah. It was very confusing the first time. It really threw me in for a loop. It's a huge swerve in the movie. Like, the movie yeah. is... It's got this like rhythm going on between these two guys fighting each other. And then for that to like completely dissipate and then for them to become depressed and yeah, it gets, you don't know what the hell is happening or why anything's happening. Mm -hmm. But the second time 
I know there's a big finish um, with a with a weekend at Bernie's uh, guy in a wheelchair. So (laughs) yeah, that honestly, that I I have the reverse thought. Like I didn't know what the fuck was going on the first act of the movie. I was like, what is this plot? What's the point? What are we about to watch? And then they got hurt, and I was like, oh, it's like a redemption. They're gonna they're gonna come back as legless badass. Pete, Ryan, like gonna, Ryan was hoping that he was going to strap uh, Martin onto Jack's yeah, back. Yeah, I thought I thought that be, was do you like was like Alien. Re- what was that in like Alien Resurrection? Yeah, where we were just talking yeah. about it. Or in what the Star oh, yeah, Wars Alien Resurrection? Does that? Yeah, El Chewbacca Topo. And C-3PO. That would have been two- no, El Mike. Yeah, Mike. Topo, what were you talking about? Uh, I was talking about El Topo, this Jodorowsky movie where um it, uh, he hires a guy that really has no arms and a guy that really has no legs and yeah and they're like wearing next to nothing and but it's like he's like a gun the the guy's like a gunfighter like the movie opens up with this like guy that's going around and he like shoots it's Jodorowsky so he like fights Jesus and then he fights oh, wow. a hot lady with a whip and all in leather and then this guy with no arms and no legs uh one guy no arms one guy no legs but um but they're like strapped yeah. to each other yeah, they're strapped to each other. I swear and... I've seen that. That sounds awesome. I want to well, see also that. like um, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Oh yeah, I yeah. Haven't I haven't seen that. One. Master Blaster. It's been years. It's like a big oh, strong. Ron there's a no. There's a no leg, no arm combo. Not no leg, no arm, but like a little dwarf rides around a big tough guy. Mm. Big tough guy that's mentally <laughs> handicapped. Sorry. Oh, uh, retarded. Yeah, if he if he's got a. <laughs> I mean, I don't know his medical term from the eighties, but yes, yeah, something is that. Called. Is that when oh, like fire doesn't hurt you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, retarded. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, well, guys, uh, that's it for me. Have a glorious day, and uh, I'll see you in the future. All right, All right later, in the future. Dude. Thanks for having me, y'all. This is super fun. Dude, fun to have you. Did is, it. My rating is four and a half. No, 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 no. I think, damn it, we should have just ended the episode without <laughs> Willie, Willie's rating. So what did you guys think of the music in the movie? What's the song? I already forgot. I don't know how I already forgot. The, the, song. the bar band? Um, yeah. What's that, the... It was all American, like, pop songs from, like, But it was, 70s. like, the motif that they were using was from the song that the bar band was playing. It's, it's from some, a like... Japanese song called Sukiyaki that's been redone in, like, every language. Oh, okay. Well, but, it but it was, like, an American... Like melody that was American. It was it an American, like, 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 Shangri-La's type, like, girl band Japanese song. Japanese song from the 60s that got so big, they were, like, they covered it. Oh! Uh, Oh, okay okay so, so there's American a lot of covers it. there's like a 60s cover an that 80s cover sense. okay that makes sense that makes you've sense. you've heard the song but like a million times yeah 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 that's why i thought it was american but that makes sense if it's been through the Sing ringer it. <laughs> it's all, right. all because of you. you all right any I'm plugs you guys want to plug anything uh no yeah buy my buy my comedy album i oh, can't yeah, die you, iTunes. You gotta, yeah, yeah. Buy it. what's it called i never promote it on here i can't what's, die I can't die. I can't die. I can't die. Where can we find it? iTunes, baby. Is there any cool, cool music on Vimeo. there, Ryan? No. Oh. But uh, <laughs> I heard there was, Mike. I Mike, heard there was. Uh, Mike yeah. actually made uh, the credits song, the end of the final track, I believe, is Mike Weeby doing a song where, where a lot of head and breakfast. A lot of yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's really just a Rage Against the Machine cover, and I mm-hmm. take a piss on Ryan's face. Oh, okay, dude, that sounds. Or awesome. can people Man, hear your music? Piss by. hitting his face. Um, uh, you know, Spotify, or whatever. I got a band called Dracula's, band called Riverboat Gamblers, and I have a podcast called the International News Service. That is uh, essentially this podcast, but we're just talking about weird news stories. But it goes off. Can the rails we be on it every on single it. time? <laughs> no, we, we're kind of just like a celebrity-based guest situation. Tight, 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 tight. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, are, how, how, how we famous We see next you? week. We see next week. <laughs> well, you know Adam Bowers. He's that. probably our biggest host. He's probably one of the biggest hosts. You, you've heard of Head and Breakfast? Uh, I have. I have heard of Head and Breakfast. <laughs> Adam Bowers' is mom. Can we get, can we get Adam's everybody. mom on to talk about her career? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are your guys? Oh, Linda Lovelace. Uh, 
lot of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, frozen. <laughs> frozen. All right, I'm saying that. All right, y'all. Later, Here, here's everybody. the deal: heroes can't die, but you know who can a die? A hero can't. A hero. Literally everybody die. in this movie.